you have a violet. Perfect. Oh, wow, that's that's a lot of power already for uh, yeah. one team esports here and team flash. And immediately that concludes our drafting phase already for game one. And might I just say, man, look at that. The AR right in the middle of the screen, you know, just giving us a little bit of uh you know, show on what these uh, characters yeah. look like when they get into the field. <laughs> I love the butterfly wings. Look at that, Trixie. Awesome stuff. Yeah. As we say that, immediately zooms into a player. So like, yeah, it's okay. Oh, that's fine. But looking at the comps right now, uh, what are your thoughts? Who do you think is going to take this one? His job, he's not going to have any trouble at all. But the Baldoom is actually at the left side. They might get spotted him out. This could be a 3v1. Immediately dashes over, but they're chasing him. There's the hook in, and Phantom might be the first contingency or first casualty. And first blood will be had by Team Flash. He's in the top lane getting information and where the enemy They're gonna dive! Oh. They're just gonna go in! This is a four-man invade! I don't even have time to cast oh. this one! They get the one! Are they gonna follow up onto the two? Fanta is able to get away with the help. I, I totally agree. They just know how to kind of approach their opponents. And he's just going right at it. They have a little bit of uh, shields here. And Ellie... Man, this, this damned omen is insane. He is just going in. He is absorbing tower shots and surviving with slivers here, gentlemen. ADC is actually in the middle of the fight, and they might have actually gone a little bit too heavy into this one, but it oh, seems like no. it's a bit enough. They get the one, though. ADC is still alive. The oh. lifesteal is actually keeping him afloat for the meantime, but he's has, he has to still be knocked down. Here comes Swallin on the crit. On the crit. Oh, sorry. It seems that they're just playing the stall game for the Violet to kind of... You know, come online before they try to make any shenanigans happen. Hold that thought. Ellie just goes in. Does get obliterated though. Kid comes in from the backside. Tries to assassinate. And they're diving in under tower range. This is no oh. respect to come out from Team Flash Fanta. A single hit and he should be done and done so. But nothing is happening. Tura onto the other side and say goodbye. Say goodbye to your HP bar. Say goodbye to your life as that is four for two. Uh, it might be uh, the risky play, but it seems like they know the timing already. And what? 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 Oh my god! Hualin just kind of said hello and he disappeared like Houdini does to his magic tricks. Uh, it's already fed enough that he can make something happen, but it seems like it's not enough. Pro E just goes into the back, swallows everybody in, and in the blink of an eye, four members get popped like bubbles and that will be game one hot damn hayate. isaac hayate you saw that once the once the critic pulls them all in Gunai blitz going in there goes the quad hayate just deletes everyone off the map that was the late game contingency you'll be able to see uh basically a guy that looks like ignis so <laughs> you know that that's just to explain just in case so if people <laughs> don't know he basically looks like or okay for for co nerds out there, he's kind of like Gandalf, all right? <laughs> yeah, much better, Gandalf. I love it. <laughs> oh yes, and with that, okay. one team is gonna go with the Ignis pick. Let's see what the guy from Enchanted Kingdom can bring to the table. <laughs> but with that complete composition, along with the Roxy, they're like, never mind. We try to make maybe the mid happen. Goes in, immediately catches onto XB here, and maybe, just maybe, can they get the first blood? Ignis gets it, this one, but here comes the retaliation from Team Flash. They're following up here onto Fanta, but the dash for the Bow Dude finally keeps him alive, and that will be at least them to survive. No, one for one trade. Baya actually got caught, has been dominating his uh, his top side, and kind of just, you know, evening out the gold. <gasps> oh, no. What a save! Pro E. Fat is going in aggressively though here. He's trying to go on to XB. Can he? He's tanky enough to do so. And that dash will make sure that he gets his mark. He gets his target. But one more smack. ADC. Oh, he dashes right over. He spots out Kid, but Kid is on the Roxy. Pretty durable character here. But Twalin could be caught in the crossfire. Once again, the knockup. And there is the Shuriken tossed by Gao. And they're kind of paying the price. They started this actually pretty well. But it seems like they're not going to be stopping at all. They're just going to be going in, have at it against their opponents. But Pro E and ADC are so tanky. They're just basically doing 2v5 at the moment. They don't need the, the numbers from XB. But as the Crixie kind of joins in and the other members of Team Flash joins in onto the party, they have to back away. They have to respect their opponents. Pro E, he could just dive in with the Zenyal once again if he wanted to. You know, you already saw the damage coming in from Ellie. He's scaling just fine, and with ADC 
and pro E just dictating the no. pace here. There, there, boom. Oh my goodness, it follows up. Wallen is actually a rock in a hard place. No, this is a Killgroth in a hard place. ADC goes in while pro E absorbs a lot of damage and still survives. Exactly. And I'm not seeing any item counters for this KG. All right, I'm going to stop you there for he a little bit, man. In. Oh, they're... F oh, okay, they just found two. Are they going to look for a third one? Uh, right side lane or this side lane here is not looking good at all. There's even some rock music playing in the background because they know that this is rock and roll for Team Flash. They get the one. One kid. Roxy is already down. This mid-tier one. ADC doesn't even care anymore. He's going for the 1v3, but he will not be able to survive. As, of course, he is underneath the base. He is underneath three members of one team esports. And finally, Team Flash's aggression. Well said. Well said. It's going to be very difficult for them. And... I don't know. I feel like Team Flash, after that one mistake, I don't think it's going to happen once again. Pro E, he is actually fine just kind of doing this. He is able to absorb so much damage a while ago. And you know what this actually does? It's going to allow a 4v3 onto the other side of the map. Even if they take down Pro E, the Dark Slayer plus a kill onto Fanta will be the result. God. That's what tower left. Oh, Tora! Tora into the back. He gets the one. He's still following it, but we're looking onto this other side, and it seems like one team esports is oh. are they gonna pull the comeback for this particular fight at least? Fanta with blood in his eyes, with blood in it, it kills in set for himself. He is looking to follow it up. I'm pretty <laughs> sure a lot of people know what I'm talking about. This is not an inside joke, guys. It's Naruto. Uh, but anyways, speaking of, you know, never stopping, never stopping to believe, it seems like Team Flash are believing that they can make something happen here. But ADC just goes down and he is going to make this into a 4v5 for Team Flash. They're not looking to stop at all. Fanta is leading the charge for one team esports. And oh yeah, yeah, Pro E follows it up. And from what looked like to have been, that is, oh. yeah. That is such a like a quick way for them to kind of get out. back into this into this uh, game. Now this could be the deciding team fight here. Eternal Abyss, uh, sorry, the an Abyssal Dragon is regenerating back up. FL is looking for a opening here. They don't have anybody to flank from the bottom side, so they're gonna have to crash in from the top here. But it seems like Pro E is going in with the Zenyal. Actually spots out the Tura, but are they gonna be able to go through? Because look at this, a wall of defense has been portrayed, has been deployed by one team esports and it's working tura is free hitting from the back line he's not even done he's chasing them down ellie coming in from the side here maybe to get some shots in with the uh with the tell honest but has is this the turnaround that one team esports oh, have been oh. looking forward to is this already the gg call because like there's 25 seconds onto their two members they had to do this three versus five pro e into the front line as zaniel cannot really do too much and now all up onto ellie but there is the base exploded, and here we are, one to one. One team comes back. 